Hi, welcome to the Midlife Synthesis. Let's get started. So just in case you haven't heard, this little guy right here just turned 10 years old. Happy birthday, little buddy. Daddy loves you. So to celebrate this happy occasion, Electron have not only invited us to the party, they're also showering us with gifts. First off, we have the new limited edition black Octatrack. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this thing looks amazing. I wouldn't mind having one myself. However, there will only be 350 units made, so I'm guessing I'm not gonna see one. Not this lifetime, anyway. For the rest of us, though, Electron have released a new system update for the Octatrack, which adds some key additions to the Octatrack workflow. If you've ever been on my channel before, you know that the Octatrack is one of my favorite pieces of gear of all time. Now, it has always had this reputation for being a bit difficult, especially for beginners. But with these new updates, I seriously think that at least getting to know it will be much more accessible, both to beginners and experienced users alike. And it might even be enough for people who have disregarded the Octatrack in the first place to give this unique box a second look. Because seriously, the game just changed. Electron have really come a long way since the Octatrack first came out. Not only are their boxes truly unique and occupy a particular niche in our little community, but they've accomplished something in the last few years that is pretty hard to do when you have this level of complexity in your machines. They've made them more accessible to a wider audience, and they've done this mainly by modifying and sometimes limiting a bit the functionality of their boxes. Now, the Dick Attack is a great example of this. It's kind of like a size down Octatrack, and they grabbed the fun stuff of the Octatrack, made it simpler and easier to get, and bam, you have a worldwide success. The Dig Attack quickly became a favorite among beatmakers everywhere, and it did so because it was fun, it was fast, and it was focused, albeit way more limited than its bigger brother. But I think it just went to show that there are ways of making a deep box without it having to be so cryptic. So what I think that Electron has done here is to apply the lessons that they've learned with their Diggy and model boxes and apply it to what I think is arguably their greatest achievement of all time. So without further ado, let's do a quick rundown of what I think are the most important features in this new update for the everyday Octatracker. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first major update is Preview Trick. Now, this is a huge one. It used to be you just had to go and program by ear and kind of just wing it as you went along. However, now, if you go into the step sequencer, by pressing a trig and yes, you can preview the trig by pressing it. And this goes for the MIDI trigs as well as for the tracks. I just love that. Now you can preview the trig via the main output by pressing yes or via the Q outputs by pressing Q. For those of you who saw my video on the Octatrack versus the Dig Attack, you know that one of my biggest gripes with the Octatrack was not being able to trigger slices individually with the MIDI keyboard. Now, however, not only is that possible, but you can actually record the note or the slice by pressing down the trig or hitting the corresponding key on your controller. This, for me at least, is a total game changer, and I can already start imagining ways this will be useful for live looping and creating on the fly with this amazing machine. So if you go into Project, select MIDI, then Control, you can now go into Audio Note In, and here you can select the way that the Octatrack will respond to the notes you input on the MIDI keyboard. So for example, in this track, I have loads of slices, and I'd like to play these through the MIDI keyboard. If I go into follow TM, follow track mode, then if I want to play these slices, I can now play them with my keyboard. And that's just awesome. You can, of course, still play the default slice chromatically. What's really cool is that now, via the step sequencer, you can actually program the slice you want via the keyboard instead of having to manually select it with the knobs. So for example, if I wanted this one on the 4, and now, it'll play. <laughs> I love this thing. I love it. View track parameters. Before on the Octatrack, you'd only get the value of the parameter you're tweaking while you were tweaking it. Now, however, thanks to the update, if you hold on the button, you get all the values for all your parameters. And that just makes everything much simpler. Randomize. So another cool thing you can do now is that while holding a track parameter, if you hit yes, you will automatically randomize the values of that page, making it much easier and faster to experiment with different settings to create different scenes. Now, if I keep pressing the parameter button and I click no, it'll automatically revert to the last saved values 
much like the reload pattern mechanisms on the Digitect or the Digitone. Not only does this make experimentation much easier and faster, but now you always have the certainty that you can go back to your previously saved values. And that to me is just like a creativity free pass on this thing. Time is relative. With a new update, each pattern can have its own tempo. So by going into the tempo screen, you can see you can have per project and per pattern. By hitting function and yes, you can switch between the project tempo and the pattern tempo. So for example, pattern one can have a tempo of 120 and pattern two can have a tempo of 167. Why not? Finally, you can now modify parameters to multiple trigs at once by holding down as many trigs as you want and start tweaking away. So for example, if I go into the step sequencer and I want to change the pitch on both of these, I can just go to source, change the pitch, and they'll be changed for each one. That means that the Octatrack is now faster than ever. Personally, I couldn't be happier with this new update. The Octatrack was already one of my favorite pieces of gear, and now I think it's faster, more accessible, and just way more fun than it already was. I hope you found this video useful, or at least entertaining. I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great week.